With a band providing the patriotic numbers and the pomp and circumstance to match, the AT&T National teed off today, at least in spirit. Oh, say can you see? 13-year-old Anna Nicholson of Bowie sang the national anthem. It means a lot because it's kind of honoring everyone that's fighting for our country. And then, seemingly from the heavens above, a ball dropped like no other. The thrill thrill begins once you deploy the parachute, crowd cheering on. and Army Sergeant Maxwell Ramsey and the 101st Airborne Parachute Team dropped in on the first tee carrying ceremonial golf balls. Landings were soft, impressing at least one of the VIPs on hand. Uh, I guess when I was a kid I thought it would be fun to be able to jump out of an uh, airplane or a helicopter. I don't feel that way anymore. PGA Tour star Fred Couple served as Tiger Woods stand-in. And from all of us in Tiger, we want to wish the men and women who serve our country a great applause from us, so thank you very much. 25 children with parents in the military got front row seats, and two of them, including 13-year-old Maggie Rollins of Woodbridge, Virginia, joined couples for the ceremonial first shots. It was a really, really big deal. I tried not to make it a big deal for her so she wouldn't be so nervous. Maggie left with an autograph from couples on her shirt and memories that will go a lot further than her drive. It was fun, even though I didn't go very far. That's okay. So you can see it was a spectacular day out here at Congressional Country Club. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll take you up close and personal with Rocco Mediate. And, of course, the Nats played a matinee in Florida. We'll have the highlights of that as well. Back to you. All right, you got it. That parachute jump was phenomenal. Never seen anything like that. And you that. were out there, and you swear you didn't hit one not ball. Not one. Not I'll one. I'll believe that. <laughs>